What's going on, Alabama fans? It's Andrew Bone with BamaInsider.com giving you a breaking news update as Aaron Anderson, four-star wide receiver from Edna Carr High School down in New Orleans, has just committed to the University of Alabama. This is commitment number 18 for the Crimson Tide and the second wide receiver joining Kobe Prentice out of Calera High School. Of course, Amari Neblock, also a, a tremendous athlete who can play wide receiver or tight end. So let's not forget about Amari because uh, he's a major offensive weapon as well. This is just an unbelievable addition to Alabama's recruiting class. You look at the offensive stars who are currently in this class, with Ty Simpson, Emmanuel Henderson, you add Aaron Anderson to go along with Kobe Prentice, along with Jalil Skinner, Elijah Brown, Mari Neblack. Of course, you got the offensive lineman in Dane Shore, Elijah Pritchett, and of course, Mr. Tyler Booker. So great addition to Alabama's class. Now, we kind of saw this coming for a while with Aaron Anderson. This is a kid who took an official visit to Alabama back in early June. Made a couple of trips back to Tuscaloosa also in June. I think he was in Tuscaloosa three times total. And then he ends up making a couple of trips to Alabama in the fall. So he was at, at Alabama for the Ole Miss game and then decommitted shortly after that from LSU after Ed Orgeron uh, you know, was not retained for next season. And we kind of had a feeling that Alabama was about to pick uh, you know, up the pace with him and, uh, you know, certainly get a, uh, you know, potentially get a commitment early on. But um, but he ends up visiting Alabama again for the Tennessee game this past weekend. It's expected to come into town for the LSU game next week. And he decided to go ahead and make that decision known, go ahead and get that out of the way. So big pickup for Alabama today in Aaron Anderson. Well, let's talk about Aaron Anderson a little bit. This is a very explosive guy, you know, great acceleration. Excellent speed. You know, he's a little bit short in the, uh, in terms of he's not six foot two. He's five foot eleven or five foot ten. So a little bit shorter than Kobe Prentice, who's about five foot eleven. Five foot ten, about one hundred and eighty pounds. But this is a guy that you can you know line up in the slot. You can line him up on the outside. He can return kicks or can return punts. This is a very explosive, very quick. And, uh, you know, definitely a, a guy that can take it the distance from anywhere on the field. And that's kind of the trend that we're seeing in this, uh, you know, recruiting class at the wide receiver position. You know, you get Kobe Prentice on board, who's one of the most explosive players in the country. Now you add Aaron Anderson to the mix. And, uh, you know, it's such a special wide receiver class. You got to think that you know, Alabama quarterback commitment Ty Simpson is uh, is pretty ecstatic. And uh, obviously we've seen what Alabama has been able to do uh, at the wide receiver position for the last several years. Now, you know, what are they going to do moving forward with two commitments at the wide receiver position with Prentice and Aaron Anderson? There's still s several guys who are out there. They're still uh, – talking to, you know, on a daily basis, guys that they feel like they potentially have a great chance to uh, to land in this class, including some guys in Louisiana. We're going to see a few other players from Louisiana make a trip to Tuscaloosa next weekend. Kendrick Law is going to make a uh, trip to Tuscaloosa out of uh, Shreveport. He's certainly a, a big-time target for the Crimson Tide. Uh, visited back in, uh, in June. He's going to take that official visit for the LSU game. I feel like Alabama is currently sitting in the driver's seat for Kendrick Law, so could potentially uh, see another Louisiana uh, wide receiver athlete uh, jump on board here pretty soon. Shaz Preston, uh, you know, another guy out of uh, St. James down in Louisiana, also has high interest in Alabama, is uh, expected to visit next weekend, and, uh, you know, certainly a guy that Alabama has recruited for a long time. You know, Evan Stewart out of Texas, we've talked about him for a, uh, you know, for a good while. Uh, you know, this is a former Texas commitment who uh, reopened his recruitment back in the spring. He's taken a lot of visits. You know, there's a lot of talk now that he could end up Back in the Longhorns recruiting class, also visited Texas A&M uh, this past weekend, but Alabama still remains uh, in the mix for him, and uh, you know certainly somebody that uh, that we're going to be watching closely, especially if he makes a trip back to Tuscaloosa uh, next weekend. You know, there's a, one other player uh, from Texas that we've talked about a little bit here recently, in Chris Marshall, four-star wide receiver uh, out of Missouri City, was supposed to take an official visit to Alabama last weekend. Actually missed that visit. You know, not sure if he's going to uh, try to return. He says he is going to try to return, but. 
a decision could be coming up here within the next few weeks. And if he does commit in the next few weeks, you know, kind of leaning towards him uh, going elsewhere with Texas A&M uh, leading the charge in his recruitment. But, you know, like I said, this is a, a great addition today to Alabama's recruiting class and getting Aaron Anderson on board. We've been talking about this for a while. When was that next wide receiver going to finally jump on board? You know, Kobe Prentice committed uh, several months ago. So, you know, when was another one going to jump on board? And finally, Aaron Anderson is that guy. And, uh, you know, I know that the Alabama coaching staff is very excited. You know, he was recruited by Pete Golding. As many people saw, Pete Golding uh, posted that emoji uh, of the elephant, and that usually indicates a commitment. And uh, as we see, and Aaron Anderson is that next guy. So I know all, that, all the Alabama fans want to know who's next uh, after Aaron Anderson jumps on board. Well, you know, certainly some guys that we're watching here pretty closely over the next few weeks. Uh, Isaiah Hastings, who is a you know, really talented defensive lineman who's originally from Toronto, uh, is now playing at Clearwater International Academy uh, down in Florida. I think he's pretty close to making a decision after taking an official visit to Alabama uh, this past weekend. He's certainly somebody that we're going to be watching uh, really closely over the course of the next few weeks. Uh, In-state defensive lineman Curtis Perry. Uh, certainly another guy that uh, you know could be committing pretty soon. He's visited Alabama a few times uh, this fall, uh, including this past weekend for the Tennessee game. Um, I would not be surprised if he makes a decision, uh, you know, within the next month or so. And, uh, you know, another Louisiana kid that, um, you know, we already talked about is Kendrick Law. Uh, with Law coming to Tuscaloosa next weekend for the LSU game, I feel like Alabama uh, is in the driver's seat for him. It was kind of an Alabama LSU recruiting battle with him. I think LSU's kind of fallen off a little bit. You know, this might be an Alabama Texas recruiting battle now. But you know, from talking to different people around uh, his football program, it certainly seems like Alabama is in the driver's seat and could potentially wrap things up uh, with him by next weekend. So those are some guys that we're watching pretty closely uh, moving forward. But hope you all have a great weekend. And uh, you know, like I said, please visit. BamaInsider.com uh, to get the very latest on Aaron Anderson's commitment to the University of, of Alabama. Thanks for your time.